John Hunter Nemechek has four wins this year in the Xfinity Series. He's one of the favorites to win the championship. On Saturday at Road America, the 26-year-old finished 34th, the result of his own mistake. During his post-race interview, the driver admitted to his error, but then unexpectedly called out his teammate for his earlier aggressive driving. It was pure hypocrisy and why Nemechek is a perfect fit at Joe Gibbs Racing. After winning two races in a row at Atlanta and New Hampshire, John Hunter Nemechek has recorded his two worst finishes of the season in back-to-back -back races, a 32nd last week at Pocono and 34th yesterday in Wisconsin. The JGR driver was running 12th with three laps to go in stage two on the four-mile track when he made a mistake, lost control of his car, and went off in the grass, ripping off the bottom of the front end of his car and ending his day. A few minutes later, when NBC caught up with him for an interview, the driver first addressed his error, but then took an unexpected turn. Uh, I think I just made a mistake, I guess, and it kind of went straight, um, jumped the access road. Uh, our guys brought a really fast Mobile One Toyota GR Super today. Uh, the long run, where it's as fast as the Xfinity 10G, but uh, just frustrating on restarts, getting used up. Um, who needs enemies when you have teammates? Ooh. Okay, thank you, John Hunter. Ouch taking a shot at his teammate. Let's go back a month ago to Portland. After making a mistake and overdriving a corner, which allowed Sheldon Creed to get by and earn the stage one win, Nemechek was understandably disappointed in himself. It only got worse in the second stage, when the JGR driver got into Creed on the final lap, the momentum taking him out wide, allowing Cole Custer to sneak in for the stage win. Two mistakes, two opportunities for stage wins missed. Interestingly, Nemechek's 19-year-old teammate, Sammy Smith, made a mistake late in the race and overdrove the corner, something Nemechek is quite familiar. Except, instead of giving the rookie some grace, Nemechek went and retaliated moments later, driving into the door of the number 18 car. Um, who needs enemies when you have teammates? Nemechek getting upset with his JGR teammates is nothing new. Last year, it happened at Richmond, when Ty Gibbs got aggressive with him on the final lap and moved him for the win. Uh, yeah, him and I will settle it Monday. Um, I don't want to say too much and get myself in trouble, but uh, just got drove through. Um, he didn't even try and make the corner there, so um, racers never forget, that's for sure. Racers never forget. Neither do the fans. They saw what Gibbs did to him last year. They saw the egregious move Gibbs made with his former teammate Brandon Jones later in the year at Martinsville. They've seen Nemechek's behavior in 2023. What they've seen is Joe Gibbs racing teammates are teammates in name only. They don't respect their teammates any more than they do the next driver. That's been proven time and time again. And that's why Nemechek racing at JGR is a perfect fit. Now the question is, whose seat does he fill when he eventually gets the call up to the Cup Series and gets reunited for some more entertaining teammate racing with Gibbs.